episode of five questions so today i'm standing here with dylan goldberger and dylan why don't you tell everybody how it is that you're involved with the art industry well i went to pratt for illustration and learned some printmaking there and now i'm just working as a freelance illustrator making prints and we're actually surrounded by your work right now correct Mm -hmm. and at a gallery in your high school and what are you doing at your high school right now um, I came here today to teach a class about wood block printing. And, and, and so the kids today have come up with some questions they'd like to ask you, five specifically. And are you willing to sit down and answer five questions? Yeah, let's do this. All right. So just so you know, all the questions come from them. And today we're going to talk a little bit about how your high school experience influenced your college career and how it's influencing you now as you're working as an artist. Are you ready to answer their five questions? All right, and let's go. Question number one. Your high school, New Rochelle High School, had an arts program. What was your experience studying in a conservatory-style program like for you? Um, Well, I always really enjoyed art classes. I I drew forever as a little kid before high school, and then throughout classes, I would doodle all the time in my sketchbooks, so I was always drawn and always really excited to take art classes. And I think uh, the high school had provided a really good way to teach new techniques to kids. Um, I remember drawing with like a, a reed with ink like from really far away on the paper, which was an interesting thing we actually did in this gallery. Um, we also worked with encaustics, which is with working with beeswax and pigment. AP was pretty cool because you were able to focus like on a concentration and work, build a portfolio around a topic that you picked and really enjoyed. And you know, it was just a good over, overall way to build up on your uh, portfolio and drawing skills. Question number two. How did a high school arts program prepare you for college and what were your experiences there like? Um, Well, I took AP for two years in a row, and that was really good in building a portfolio to get into college. Yeah, just a lot of the pieces I made during that time I felt really passionate about because we were able to focus on something that we liked. Um, I also took a figure drawing class at the JCC where we worked from the new form for the first time, and I felt like that was... Um, now still just like one of the more important things in like drawing fundamentals and it's always good to practice from a figure and from life. Um, I went to Pratt Institute for illustration and when I got there one of the first things I had to get used to was taking a six hour class instead of a 40 minute class. I also had to get used to self-motivating myself because there's no one there to make me go to class or make me do art work. I just really had to get into it on my own. Um, And also senior year there was a lot like senior year at the high school where I was building a portfolio, but instead of building a portfolio to get into college, I was building a portfolio to get a job in the illustration field or build work to try to get skateboarding jobs that I'm getting now. Question number three. What type of art media do you work in now? Um, I do mostly woodcut and lino cut. Um, some of the color additions are done by silk screen. And I also work digitally sometimes, but I try to keep the same look and feel of a woodcut or lino cut. Uh, I'll work digitally if a client wants a job with a really quick turnaround that I don't think would be possible to carve a block in time. But uh, I just I think like one of the most important things is just drawing. Everything I do starts with a drawing, pencil and paper, um, whether it's like a woodcut or if someone's doing a painting, they have to usually start with a sketch or a drawing. I, don't know. 
think drawing's the most important part of any art. Question number four. Which samples of your work are you most proud of and why? Um, this piece called uh, titled DIY, as in do it yourself, is a seven foot woodcut. Um, that's the largest one I've done to date. Um, it was for a gallery show where I had a, about a seven foot space and I decided instead of a bunch of small pieces, I'd just try to force myself to work the largest I've ever worked and do a piece that would take up the whole wall. It was also my first published editorial piece for a Thrasher Magazine, their website. And I was pretty proud of that because that was just like every skipper's dream was to be in Thrasher. And I read that growing up all the time as a little kid. Um, the Last Supper is a piece I did as a senior at Pratt. Um, it was one of the first pieces where I used the human role reversal theme. And since then, I've used that uh, numerous times throughout my work and still am using it. This isn't the first skateboard graphic I've done, but it's uh, the first time one of my woodcuts appeared on a skateboard. This is titled Stagecoach. Um, it was a board for KCDC Skate Shop, and that's why the KCDC is written on this uh, Stagecoach. Question number five. What is it like to come back to your high school as a visiting artist, have an exhibit, and work with young art students? Um, it's very strange, but a lot of fun. Do you guys have any questions about anything? Yeah. How do you fix it if you mess up? You just don't tell people where the mess ups are and they can't find it. <laughs> All right, Dylan, you survived five questions. Now, if the kids have any more questions or they want to see your artwork, how can they do that? Um, they can check out my website, it's dylangolberger.com, and that has my contact and email on it. And they can also follow me on Instagram, it's dylanjg, all lowercase. And do you post work on your Instagram? Yeah, I have all my finished pieces and then a bunch of the progress stuff and sketches. So uh, I think you should go to Instagram right now. You should follow Dylan. And I want to thank you for answering five questions. And I want to thank you for tuning in. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Peace out. Peace out.